Rucho alongside him in the centre half, who I think is a fantastic, one of the best young centre backs in the world at the moment. Well, that's managed to find its way all the way through to Rafinha, and Donnarumma did remarkably well. If he touches Rafinha, he's going to get sent off, but he timed that run perfectly, and that saved the goal. Yeah, big moment, massive moment. Barcelona just... Nuno Mendes just caught there by uh, Rafinha. They might have got more of Rafinha than the ball there, but Anthony Taylor didn't see it that way. And Bappe for Rafinha. Barcelona's first quarter for San Germani, won it with Barcelona. And of course he's going to gain heroes. Lewandowski rolling away from Baralda. Rafinha promising for Barcelona. Blocked behind for the corner. First time they've really yeah. put passes together in a situation like that, Barca. Yeah, they've tried to, to raid quickly a couple of times. That's the first time they've sort of built through Lewandowski, but Rafinha is... Making progress here. Yeah, he's not managed to get himself forward that many times because he's got defensive duties, but Barcelona flood the, the ball side, so the switch is always on. And Mbappe is holding his width and done it a couple of times now. Sergi Roberto, Rafinha fancies the shot, that's a good save by Donnarumma. Plenty of power right along the ground and it was always moving away from the PSG keeper. Well, certainly up for it, Rafinha making good runs from that left-hand side inside. And then... Salona though quickly have it back again. It's not a bad ball in either by Rafinha, well dealt with by Donnarumma. The young finding Rafinha onto Lewandowski, and then Rafinha carried on running, and Marquinhos had come. A Short it goes. Rafinha running in, good block. A lot of bodies between him and the goal, but have worn both shirts. Lamar with a lovely ball. Donnarumma got there. Is it going to fall here? Yes, it is for Barcelona and Rafinha. Donnarumma got the faintest of touches, but he couldn't divert the ball away. And Rafinha rattles home his seventh goal of the season, the first time he's ever scored in the Champions League. And that's a massive goal in Paris for Barcelona. Yeah, it's just indecision. And I think he's been threatening that, haven't he, Barcelona? Paris have had that indecision when the ball enters the penalty box, but they face the press so well. Lewandowski's done brilliant. Ball into his feet, opens up, and then all of a sudden, Hernandez, it's an interesting race, and Rafinha's got there first. Now then, who can get there and support him? Pulls it back, here comes Jamal. Barcelona with the yellow shirts coming in, and that's not quite good enough. Ah, that's a waste. Rafinha did absolutely brilliantly. He looked up and realised he was the only one there, so put it into space for Jamal, but maybe that... 25-minute display from PSG, the smile on the face of Rafinha. He scored the goal, and Mbappe was quiet. The young guns of Barcelona have done well, sprinkled in with that mix of experience that's given them the half-time lead in the park. At the moment, that man there, Rafinha, his goal separates the two sides at the park. About the change, Laura, Bradley Barr just balances off the PSG team and whether they can find that little bit more. Rafinha. That's a foul by Rafinha. Luca Hernandez. The Parisian chorus inside the Parc des Princes. Paris Saint-Germain on top, leading 2-1. At all. First touch for Petri. Wonderful ball lifted in. It's in. It's a brilliant introduction from Petri. It's a wonderful finish from Rafinha. It's a brilliant Barcelona goal. And there's the talent that Petri brings to the Barcelona midfield. It's 2-2. Absolute instant impact, and we know all about Pedri and the way that he's playing. He's been injured and they've really missed him the last few games. It's just about being effective in that final third. What about Rafinha as well? And both these managers have missed. Chance at all. It's an outstanding goal. Everything about it was brilliant. I'll tell you what, that's the type of thing Rafinha did when he was a kid. Lewandowski. 
Rafinha. Zaire Emery's only 18, Bradley Barkler's only 21. That's just on the PSG side of things. Over goes Rafinha's had a little kiss of the ball, so maybe he thinks this is his moment for a Champions League hat-trick. And why wouldn't you give him a go? 26 metres to paradise. Be... Rafinha hits it low. Donna Rummer makes the save and held on to it. And he uh, needed to because they were gambling. Rafinha is on the run. It's going to be a test here for Baraldo over there. Yellow shirts flooding forward for Barca. Pedri to Rafinha. Petri wanted it back again. Goes instead to Joao. Felix, and that's saved by Donnarumma. Two goals remarkably well. Both of them excellent finishers in their own right. The second one off the outside of the foot from the Petri pass was spectacular. And another former Manchester City player to add to the numbers, Ferran Torres, comes on for Barcelona. Yeah, Rafinha has been absolutely superb. Ferran Torres, good to... Didn't actually have to drop. Christensen and Rafinha. Shell, what did you make of that, Rio? Uh, after a tyre of this magnitude. Um, PSG, we spoke about the best player in the world, in my opinion, Mbappe didn't perform today. Yeah. And when he doesn't perform... So let's have a little look over in Madrid as well at the Met.